Welcome everybody, my name is Michael and today we're going to be discussing how to add Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask wallet. It's very simple and I'm going to leave a link down below and also what you should copy and paste into your MetaMask. So the first thing you have to do is I'm using Chrome. You have your MetaMask, make sure that you're logged in. There's my account. This is a test account. If we go up here, we see that we have Ethereum mainnet but we need to get BSC. We're gonna put custom RPC, but just before we get into that, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna get all the data that we need. So this is what you're gonna be copy and pasting, at least this, because you're only able to copy paste one thing, the rest you'll have to type in, unfortunately. This is for security reasons, because if you log out of MetaMask or if you get away from MetaMask, then as you see, it starts right over again. So we're gonna to go to custom RPC, network name. You have to copy what's over here into there. So smart chain, if you have no idea what Binance smart chain is, we'll get into that in just a second. This is where you copy and paste. It's gonna be the longest one. This is 56 BNB. This is optional, but might as well type in everything. So make sure that everything's typed in correctly. BSCscan.com. And that's all you need to type in. Now, by the way, this is the main net. So unless you're a developer who's going to be using the test net, and, you know, that's 1% of the population, the rest, this is what you're going to need to add. Unfortunately, MetaMask does not come with Binance Smart Chain included. And this is most likely because MetaMask came with Ethereum and all those others right before Binance Smart Chain. It's still relatively new, right? So maybe in the future it'll be in there. But for right now, we have to add it in manually. So we save and then you see it, Binance Smart Chain. And then when you go back to the main menu, here you have it. We're in the smart chain and you see your BNB and you're able to swap BNB into any other Binance smart chain token that is available. So for example, pancake swap, if we did have some BNB, we don't. So we're gonna cancel that. We're able to send BNB, able to look at our activity, but we don't really have anything. And then you're always able to go back to Ethereum without a problem. And now whenever you start up your MetaMask, it's always gonna be there. There you go, smart chain. And then all you have to do is click it and you're able to mess around with it. So why do you need to configure the wallet for BSC if you're a big proponent of Binance? Well, you have some things that might not work with the Ethereum wallet and at worst case scenario, you could actually lose your money. So you don't want to lose your money. And what is Binance Smart Chain? It's basically a blockchain that runs in parallel to Binance Chain. Unlike Binance Chain though, it boasts smart contract functionality and compatibility with the Ethereum virtual machine. In essence, both blockchains operate side by side. Because BSC is EVM compatible, it launched with support for the rich universe of Ethereum tools and dApps and in theory, this makes it easy for developers to port their projects over from Ethereum. For users, it means that applications like MetaMask can be easily configured to work with BSC. It took literally less than a minute. You may know that a number of digital assets such as Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, EOS, or XRP already exist on the chain as PEGI coins. These are tokens that are pegged to assets on their native chains. For instance, you might decide to lock up 10 Bitcoin in order to receive 10 Bitcoin B on Binance chain. At any time, you can trade your 10 BTB for 10 Bitcoin, meaning that the price of Bitcoin B should closely track that of native Bitcoin. By doing this, you effectively port these assets onto Binance chain. Because of the flexibility afforded by Binance Smart Chain, Assets from a number of different chains can be used in the growing DeFi space. For example, applications like PancakeSwap allow users to trustfully exchange assets, much like Uniswap, and engage in yield farming and vote on proposals. Now there is Binance Chain, which was mentioned earlier. It's the home of the BNB currency. It's optimized for ultra-fast trading, but it's not as flexible as a programmable standpoint for other blockchains. Well, Binance Smart Chain is a little step above that. Got a full-fledged environment for developing high-performance dApps. Built for cross-chain compatibility, and it's going to ensure that the users get the best of both worlds. So to wrap everything up, what are some of the benefits of BSC? Well, the ecosystem is exploding. You have borderless DeFi, you have lower fees, performance suitable for mass adoption. It's EVM compatible, so it's great for applications like MetaMask or Chainlink, so Oracle. They're important for dApps of many different types. It's easy for dApp owners to switch from Ethereum blockchain to to the BSC with this kind of compatibility. So the ecosystem is exploding because the Binance decentralized exchanges have over 100 trading pairs and 100 BEP2 assets. 
To be exact, we're actually approaching over 200 pretty soon. In 2021, Ethereum transaction fees were going up, while BSC had a fraction of the price of the fees, the gas fees that were being spent over through Ethereum. And that is a pretty big difference for the average Joe. Back in the summer, with Ethereum gas fees being rather high, you had times where BSC was even 20 times lower. Binance Smart Chain also produces a block every three seconds, much faster than Ethereum. It uses 21 different validators for its algorithm. So there's plenty of benefits. You now saw how to edit to MadMask. We're going to be making more simple how-to videos in the future. And that's it. Short and sweet. Have a great rest of your night. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If not, leave a dislike. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.